This is Twit. Even Bill Gates, who just wrote a, he does the Gates notes. He's kind, he's not actually kind, disagreeing very much with what I've said. He's here's uh, here's his latest uh, Gates note. The risks of AI are real but manageable. He compares AI to other breakthroughs. It wasn't long ago he was starting to decree apocalypse, though. So. Really? Well, he's back down. Yeah, I forget. I found another one there, but yeah, fine. He says, it's not the first time a major innovation has introduced new threats to be controlled. We've done it before. Whether it was the introduction of cars, the rise of personal computers and the internet, people have managed through other transformative moments and have, have despite a lot of turbulence, come out better off in the end. Um, he says deep fakes and he's, he says, I've been thinking about the longer term risks and he says they should not come at the expense of the more immediate ones. And these are the more immediate risks. Deep fakes and misinformation generated by AI could undermine elections and democracy. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he says to some degree, he thinks AI can solve that. Two things make me guardedly optimistic. One is that people are capable of learning not to take everything at face value. We've had to do that, right? Let's, and that's a we good gotta, skill. We just got to keep raising awareness. Just on that. say, hey, that's clearly BS. Uh, he says people, you know, for years people fell for scams with somebody posing as a Nigerian prince, but we've learned. Uh, we need to build the same muscles for deep fakes. The other thing that makes me hopeful is that, and I think you may be wrong on this, AI can help identify deep fakes as well as create them. We're starting to learn that AI is not great at finding no, other AI. No, of course not. Yeah. The, 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 the Declaration of Independence is often found as fake is one of the stories in the, in the rundown. Right. AI, he also says, in, and these are the intermediate short-term issues, makes it easier to launch attacks on people and governments. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, it's the same kind of, well, maybe AI can solve that one. AI will take away people's jobs. And you've talked about this, Jeff, and I think you're right. All new technologies do, but they don't take them away without adding new jobs. Exactly. AI, a rough period of transition for people, yes. Yeah, but. yeah. which is not to downplay the fact that coal miners right. are, you know, going to have a hard time going mm -hmm. forward. That's absolutely There's true. not many of them actually left. Left, so well, that's as, as a, uh, right. AI, and this is a good one. This is the, the stochastic parrots issue. AI inherits our biases and makes things up. Short-term issue. Um, he has. He, there's nothing really genius in any of this. Here's one you might care about. Students won't learn to write because AI will do the work for them. Uh, mm, so the aforementioned Matthew Kirschbaum just... The Modern Language Association just put out guidelines for this. And and they emphasized, Matthew Kirshenbaum was on the committee that did that. I was almost going to put it in the rundown, but I thought I would get hooted down for such a thing. Um, so, uh, but it says that writing is a process, not just a product. And that a lot of teaching about it is to get sure. people to do that. So there are useful things to do. Sure. Actually, you need support in learning this. They're not against using it, but we don't use it in the obvious ways. Well, and as Dr. Dew, D-E-W, is saying in our uh, Discord, people said students wouldn't learn math because of calculators. Amen, right. Right. Dr. Right. Dew. Dr. Dew. And I guess to some degree they don't learn the basics arithmetic, but they certainly still... Well, learn. my argument has been that, that, that what AI can do, one of the things I'm enthusiastic about, is to extend literacy so that if you want help telling your story, and then it's your story, so you're going to care to get it right. You're really going to edit it. But... You need to get over a hump of, of communication. People are intimidated by writing. Yeah. So what does Bill Gates say we have to do? He says, I believe there are more reasons than not to be optimistic that we can manage the risks of AI while maximizing their benefits, but we need to move fast. Governments need to build up expertise in AI so they can make informed laws and regulations. Political leaders need to be equipped. Which, let me stay there for a second if I could, Leo. Yeah. Really interesting. One thing I put in the rundown is 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 it uh, 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 my senator, the senator from New York, the, the, uh, the uh, senator Trellis, um, um, <laughs> Chuck Schumer, Chuck Schumer. Thank you very much. Um, I love this. Before Trellis, the show Trellis began, is, is gonna be my, I was <laughs> mentioning that. Oh, sorry, I just, it was before the show. It was oh, before sorry, the show folks, this no morning. But you know, it's a good running joke. But let me explain how it started. <laughs> I was mentioning that I play Jeopardy with the Amazon Echo every morning, and the and the final Jeopardy was name a crisscross 
it was in the category gardens or something. Name a Chris. Oh no, the category was words with no, two well, L's. Right. Two yeah. L's, right? Name a crisscross lattice work that is used to prop up plants in the garden. And I know I knew what that was, but I could not come up with the word trellis. And uh, yeah, you came up. Well, now with trellis right is the fill-in word when you can't come so up. So now, with, whenever we uh, can't think of something, you'll you'll now know that. So what Senator what Trellis yes. is going to. Um, <laughs> Basically, hold courses on AI, which is a really smart. Rather than starting with hearings, we gotta we gotta well, control all this stuff. He's acknowledging that they have to learn about it, which Good. I think is wonderful. Good. Wait a minute. Who he's holding courses? Who's it? Who's for senators? For other senators? Who's who's well, running the courses? Well, that's a good question. Well, that's a good question, Ant. Hi, uh, my because name is Mark Zuckerberg, but you can call me yeah. I'd like to tell you about AI. <laughs> And smoking. Hi, hi, I'm Sam Altman. I'm going to destroy the world if you don't stop me. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we agree. Governments lean to build the expertise, and I think Chuck yeah. Trellis is right. Political leaders will need to be equipped <laughs> to have informed, thoughtful dialogue with their constituents. Oh, isn't that an, a thought? Yeah. They'll also have to decide how much to collaborate with other countries on these issues versus going it, it alone. It builds right on that. In the private sector, AI companies need to pursue their work safely and responsibility, protect privacy, make sure the models reflect basic human values, minimize bias, spread the benefits to as many people as possible, prevent technology from being used by criminals or terrorists. Yeah, that's fair. Finally, I encourage everyone, you all, to follow developments in AI as much as possible. It's the most transformative innovation any of us will see in our lifetimes. So that answers the question of whether it's a parlor trick. He says no. And a healthy public debate will depend on everyone. Of course he says no. He has no, a lot of stock in a, a company that's investing heavily in this AI stuff. Oh, yeah, but okay. And a healthy public debate will depend on everyone being knowledgeable about its technology, its benefits, and its risks. The benefits will be massive. And the best reason to believe we can manage the risks is that we have done it before. He liked Clara and the Sun, if that's any help. <laughs> good, book. Book, good, good, good book. Good book. Good book. That was a good book. Uh, by the way, uh, we are, Jeff, you and uh, Jason Howell are working on a new AI show where this will be one of the things that we'll talk about. I love I'm that sure. photo, by the way. Yeah, like a nice picture. Did you take that? It is nice picture. I think you did. Friendly oh, Jason. Yes, I did. I think he did. <laughs> uh -huh. Jason's AI playground. I, I I, think we weren't able to get you scheduled in for that because of your travel. I, no, because I'm just, the way it worked out when it was scheduled, I already had stuff oh, jammed okay. in. But uh, we do want to get you in that conversation because I want you to, you want to oh, yes. host that show. Well, after the show next, after the show next week when I'm there, I think Jason and I are going to do something. Good. Okay. So to, if you are mm -hmm. in the club and you want to input tomorrow at 1 p.m., Jason's, they call it, he's calling it the AI Playground because it's not the show yet. It's just a, a conversation about what that show can and will be, which I think is really important. Uh, and you know what? I think what Bill Gates says is probably as good yeah. a charter uh, as anything uh, for people. Yeah, no beef with that. Yeah, you know, to prepare for the, the future. Hey there, Scott Wilkinson here. In case you hadn't heard, Home Theater Geeks is back. Each week, I bring you the latest audio video news, tips and tricks to get the most out of your AV system, product reviews, and more. You can enjoy Home Theater Geeks only if you're a member of Club Twip, which costs seven bucks a month. Or you can subscribe to Home Theater Geeks by itself for only $2.99 a month. I hope you'll join me for a weekly dose of Home Theater Geekitude.